installing a dome onto the action cam of your ROV. Now that's quite a cool idea. We're gonna get those cool close to the surface and also into the water shots. But there's a major downside with it. First of all, you have to make sure it actually fits onto the camera and also onto the ROV. But also you have to keep in mind that installing a plastic dome with several inches in diameter is gonna greatly increase the positive buoyancy of your ROV. So with all these factors, I figured a three inch dome is probably the best way to go. Now, since you cannot buy these pre-manufactured, here are all the components that you need in order to make one yourself. In this list, you notice a lot of rubber washers and rubber rings. And also with this arrangement, keep in mind, this is how the system works. First, you have the stainless steel screw, which is basically primarily load bearing. Then a rubber washer, stainless steel washer, another rubber washer, and then finally the back plate. Then two rubber rings, and then the uh, flange of the dome. And then again, rubber washer, stainless steel washer, rubber washer, and finally you capsule the whole thing in with a stainless steel caping nut. So you get the idea. Metal, rubber, metal, rubber, metal, rubber. This way, anything that is load bearing is completely sealed off and watertight. Also using two rings not only gives you two layers of water resistance, but also it ensures stability. If you use only one ring, like so, the whole thing is going to crack. So, use two rings, it's going to keep it stable and safe. And also by using two rings, you ensure that you have a double layer of water tightness around the whole dome. So, let's take a look on how the whole thing is done. First, make sure that you place your uh, drilling holes precisely onto the pre-install holes of the dome itself. Now as a safety feature, make sure that every time you have a drill hole completed, you already put a screw into it, thereby making sure that it, and nothing does or nothing slips out of place while you keep on drilling. So far, so good. Now the next thing up is the watertight casing for the action cam. As you can see here, the case itself is fine, however the shield has been scratched. Now let's make a little recap here, a little flashback to 2018, I think it was, off the coast of Ireland. I was dragging my underwater pot over the cliffs like so after some amazing underwater footage of course and then right there, there's the scratch. Casing was fine, so was the camera, but back to present day. Now the case itself is completely fine and fortunately the shield is detachable. So long, my friend. Now the uh, three millimeter acrylic glass back plate with uh, 11 centimeters in diameter was a pre-order from eBay from a guy who sold these and he also made a good job and uh, drilling me a center hole was 34 millimeters in width. Now that's precisely the uh, outer diameter of the outer casing of the water head case for the action cam. There. Perfect. 
However, there's a little issue, of course, with the on-off button, which will be completely put out of action, but it's still impeding the proper alignment of the plate. So let's see how wide that thing is. Okay, just shy of 14 millimeters. So let's get ourselves a 15 millimeter drill to cope with that problem. Perfect snug fit. That's how we do it. Now, not shown here is how much hot glue is to be used. And I'm only showing it here the, how I uh, surrounded the edges of the back plate to the case, but in fact, all the surface area connecting the back plate and also the watertight casing has to be covered, absolutely covered with hot glue. Nonetheless, anything should seep through. Also, make sure that. The edges also get sealed off quite nicely. But here you can see that everything, everything connecting these two parts has to be sealed off completely. Because you really, really don't want any loose ends there, any edges, anything, any cracks or so, which will allow water to seep through these two objects, which were not intended for each other, but will make them stick anyway. Now, in order to make sure that your dome does not fog up under any circumstances from the inside, it is recommendable to put some silica gel into the inside of the casing. So just get yourself some black uh, duct tape. Why black? So you won't have any reflections from the inside of the dome onto the lens. And that's it. That should keep everything nice and dry. Now let's make sure that this silica gel patch is not going to stick out in any way, which will impede the optics. There, nah, it should be out of sight. Let's have a look. Perfect. Nothing to see. So let's get to the final phase, the assembly. Once again, screw, rubber washer, metal washer and again a rubber washer for either the dome plate or the back plate. Now for demonstrational purposes I uh, reverse the screws here. I mean here I go in from the front but in fact you should go in from the back side. Now that proved to be somewhat difficult in order to videotape it so bear with me. So I put the, uh, the screws in on backwards here. But you will see in a second how it's done, how it's supposed to be done and just bear with me. So here you see the assembly on the back plate. However, keep in mind you're supposed to do this on the front. That way you won't have any impeding on the uh, mounting of the camera and also this way you're not going to impede with the casing. And this is what it actually looks like. See the washers here up front with the flat surfaces on the back? That's the way you want it, believe me. Finished. said that's actually the coolest thing he has seen so far on this ROV. What do you think? Just for comparison, this is what it used to look without the dome. On the surface, you could see the buoyancy tanks, but underneath, nothing. 
So right now, this is what you used to be able to see without the dome, since of the light breaking inside the water. But with the dome, you have a complete 180 view. So this is all you don't see without a dome. So that's it for now. Of course, it would be nice to get some better landscapes and stuff going. We'll see what the future holds. Thank you very much. Take care.